Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Can my battleship be upgraded? Chapter 51. I just heard from Zheng Yuan that the Blackstone Territory is preparing to sign a limited open trade agreement with the Highland Viscounty Territory. Among the package of provisions is one related to education, which allows the citizens of the Blackstone Barony to apply for the secondary education college in the Highland Viscounty. Quote. Wang Dong frowned and recalled carefully, it seemed that such a thing had indeed happened. The Viscounty of the Highlands and the Barony of Blackstone are neighbors. A Viscount is one level higher than a Baron, but there is not necessarily a direct affiliation between the two. For example, the Blackstone Barony is a pioneer lord directly conferred by the King, while the Highland Viscount is a local lord conferred by the Earl of Tianfang in the North Star Territory. There is a completely different affiliation between the two. Baron Blackstone swears allegiance directly to His Majesty the King of the Kingdom. Viscount Highland followed the orders of Earl Tianfang and did not need to pay too much attention to His Majesty the King's will. Even Earl Tianfang was a pioneer lord who only obtained the enfeffment of his territory after swearing allegiance to His Majesty the King. The enfeffment system is such a weird existence. The vassals of my vassals are not my vassals. As neighbors, relationships naturally have good and bad moments. The relationship between the Blackstone Barony and the Highland Viscounty is, neutral and cold, most of the time. If this limited open trade agreement can be successfully signed, it may be upgraded to, neutral and friendly. In Wang Dong's memory, this agreement fell through soon after. The direct cause still needs to be found from Wang Dong. Before his rebirth, when he secretly purchased energy blocks, he found Wu Hao's, the person in charge of the fourth caravan in Tianfang Roldom, and some clues were caught. As a result, Count Tianfang's forces also directly joined in the pursuit of Wang Dong and the Tomahawk. And Wang Dong happened to be taken back to the barony soon after as the illegitimate son of Baron Blackstone. This directly aroused the hostility of Earl Tianfang, which in turn led to a change in the attitude of the Highland Viscounty. The limited open trade agreement mentioned by Chen Linfang just now has naturally become a flower in the mirror and disappeared. This time, Wang Dong did not reveal his existence, so he would not attract the covetousness of the Tianfang Roldom as before his rebirth, which would lead to a change in the attitude of the Highland Viscounty. Wang Dong is really not sure whether this limited open trade agreement can proceed smoothly. The wings of the butterfly have begun to flap, and the wheel of history has slightly changed its direction. Suddenly, Wang Dong realized something. This is a good thing. You should prepare it first. If you have any deficiencies regarding tuition fees or anything like that, just ask. Wang Dong said with an encouraging smile to Chen Linfang. The income from the work in the smelting plant can only be regarded as so-so. Compared with the interstellar miners, it is more than one or two points behind. Don't worry, I won't be polite. Chen Linfang grinned. Wang Dong nodded and said nothing more. The relationship between the two does not require too much politeness. You two grown men, you hide in the corner and make love to each other as soon as you arrive, don't you think it's a bit annoying in public? It affects the image of our number. One middle school, okay. Wang Dong turned his head when he heard the sound and nodded to Li Ziqing, who was wearing a pink dress, revealing her pink arms and white calves. After glancing at Chen Linfang, who seemed to be shorter because of Li Ziqing's appearance, he said with a smile, the study committee member has instructed us to actively correct our orientation. I'm going to learn about monitor Zheng Yan Lin Feng will leave it to the school committee to handle the matter. Li Ziqing has beautiful features, a slim figure, and is generous in dealing with others. He was once a study committee member in his class and has a lot of prestige among his classmates. It is said that his family background is also quite good. Of course, more importantly, she is the goddess in the eyes of classmate Chen Linfang, which has not changed for many years. Li Ziqing was unmoved by the joke in Wang Dong's words. He stretched out his delicate hand and pointed it out. Chen Linfang moved a full meter to the side intentionally to make room next to Wang Dong. Glancing at Chen Linfang with satisfaction and ignoring the latter's flattering smile, Li Ziqing pulled a petite girl next to him and half forced her into the position vacated by Chen Linfang. There's no need to trouble class monitor, just take good care of Ding Ling. Wang Dong was dumbfounded and helpless towards Li Ziqing's little shrewdness. He could only glare at Chen Linfang, who had forgotten his friends at the sight of him, and then turned to say hello to Ding Ling, who had a red face next to him. Ding Ling, when did you come back? 
Long time no see. Ding Ling, who has delicate features and a little baby fat, like a large Barbie doll, responded in a low voice, I just came back two days ago to see my grandparents. Classmate Wang Dong, after the large class reunion last year, we didn't see each other for nearly 11 months. How are you doing? Quote. Although he was responding, Ding Ling's little face was turned sideways to Wang Dong, and his hands were gently twisted together and placed by his side. Wang Dong felt a little uncomfortable. He knew this classmate who had also been at the same desk for three years quite well. Introverted by nature, not good at dealing with others, and shy, especially when facing Wang Dong. Ding Ling is quite popular among the male classmates in the class, but he is not Wang Dong's cup of tea. Wang Dong is not a scumbag, and his position on the little girl is quite stable, and he never gives any form of affirmation or ambiguity. I always strictly abide by my duties as classmates and treat each other with respect. My father is the chief of security on the mining planet, and he holds real power. Are you a scumbag trying this? As for what some people say about not wanting to struggle. First of all, Ding Ling is not an only daughter, she has brothers and sisters in the family. Secondly, the chief of public security also does not belong to the privileged class, although he can be regarded as directly serving this class. Thirdly, as a time traveler, Wang Dong still has some inexplicable confidence and will not give up the struggle so quickly. After chatting with Ding Ling for a few words without any embarrassment, the two people, both of whom were not good at words, began to stare at each other. Looking at Chen Linfang, he was having a lively chat with Li Ziqing. Wang Dong couldn't help but grit his teeth and secretly resented it, and decided to lower his favorability level by 10%. Fortunately, as the appointed time passed, more and more students arrived, and the party officially began. According to the usual procedure, the initiator of this gathering will speak first. This time it's class monitor Zheng Yan. If Li Ziqing is compared to Xiao Jiabiyu who came out of the Zhongyan water town, then Zheng Yuanmang is the rose blooming in the Daiming Palace. With bright eyes and white teeth, a fair complexion, and a soft and graceful smile, at the age of 20, she already exudes a hint of charm, making her a goddess in the eyes of almost all boys. The most rare thing is that she has long legs, a slender waist, and a curvy figure, showing her attractive curves that are far beyond those of her peers. Even though Chen Linfang has his own heart, he is still inevitably attracted to Zheng Yan when he faces her. Li Ziqing secretly exerted all his strength and stepped on Chen Linfang hard before the boy came back to his senses. As for Wang Dong, he can't hide his admiration. If there is anyone in Wang Dong's social circle who has the greatest hope of completing a class jump from the civilian class to the privileged class through her own efforts, it should be Zheng Yan. Not only is Zheng Yan a natural beauty, she also has talents that are proportional to her looks. Of course, Wang Dong doesn't know whether Zheng Yan succeeded in the end. Being reborn does not mean opening up, God's vision, and knowing everything. Although he was reborn, Wang Dong didn't know much about the follow-up situation of these classmates. Before his rebirth, he was always being hunted and had a very poor life experience. There are not many channels for receiving external consultations, and they mainly focus on information directly related to their own safety. There is no energy to pay attention to other things that are not so important in comparison. In the box, Zheng Yan stood up and looked around, and the whole place naturally fell silent. Calm down the situation easily. After a few words of welcome, Zheng Yan quickly turned to the main topic. This gathering is mainly for news. Yes, some students may already know that our Blackstone Barony is negotiating with the Highland Viscounty to reach a limited open trade agreement. There are many related rumors, but I have reliable information channels, and the negotiation process is relatively smooth. The two parties will most likely be able to reach an agreement within two months at the latest. Quote. Zheng Yan's beautiful eyes turned, and she saw that except for a few students who looked excited, most of the other students were still confused, which was not surprising at the moment. There are always a few people who have the ability to see things from a subtle perspective. Even though she had screened the people participating in this gathering beforehand, none of those who had no ambition to be content with the status quo were notified. But being motivated does not mean that you can really make progress. The crossing of classes is often destined to be a long and difficult process. Facing it alone is definitely not as good as walking together with mutual support. 
at least in the initial accumulation phase. Zheng Yan didn't show off, and after writing down the observations one by one, she put forward her suggestions. It is very different from what Wang Dong heard from Chen Linfang just now. It is nothing more than seizing the opportunity and striving to enter the upward channel. At the same time, students help each other and make progress together. Suddenly, many classmates were excited, and Chen Linfang became very excited and blushed. Wang Dong listened carefully on the surface, but there was no waver in his heart. Zheng Yan's intentions are not bad. In any case, it is not a bad thing to persuade people to make progress. However, Wang Dong's own path has been set, and he started out as the captain of the fire battleship. There is no need to start from scratch like ordinary civilians. After passing the screening step by step, entering the junior college, studying hard, and going through several rounds of screening, the best among them can get to a certain fire warship and get the opportunity to start from the bottom and slowly climb up. It can be said that after 99 and 81 hardships, one may not be able to achieve the right result. Wang Dong had never attended this party before his rebirth. At that time, the Tomahawk suffered heavy damage, and Wang Dong was still busy preparing energy blocks to solve the battleship's energy crisis, so he had no time to think about it. Not to mention class reunions, even Chen Linfang's several invitations were hastily rejected. It can be seen that most of the students who came to the party were quite enthusiastic. After Zheng Yan, several more people rushed to the stage to speak, basically approving and encouraging others. In just over two hours of a gathering, a lot of consensus was reached, a list of registrations was compiled, and a corresponding simple division of labor plan was compiled. Good mobility. Wang Dong was mixed in, showing his heartbeat appropriately, but indicating that he needed to go back and think about it. Quite a normal reaction. As for whether he would really go to the Highland Viscounty with them to take the entrance exam for the Battleship Academy, that was of course impossible. It will be at least a month or two before the agreement is signed. At that time, Wang Dong, if nothing else happened, should have been notified and prepared to return to the barony. After the party ended, a few classmates made an appointment for a second party, and the rest began to leave. Wang Dong did not move. He was stopped by Zheng Yan. Also present were Chen Linfang, Ding Ling, and Li Ziqing. Regarding Zheng Yan's actions, Wang Dong had some guesses in his mind. Sure enough, compared to the charming smile just now, he is good at dancing with long sleeves. After only a few people were left, Zheng Yan put away the smile on her face and turned it solemn. If I was in front of everyone just now, what I thought was that I would help my classmates if I could. Now I hope that the few here can help me and help myself. Several people were silent, even Chen Linfang, who should have jumped away, just turned his head slightly and looked at Li Ziqing. Zheng Yan was not surprised by everyone's silence. After all, they were all people who had been in the society for a few years. The people she left behind on purpose were the ones she was optimistic about and were the few outstanding ones in the class. Without this most basic character, Zheng Yan would doubt her own vision. Ding Ling, you are the third daughter of the chief of security. You have an older brother and a younger sister. Even though Chief Ding has the trust of Baron Blackstone, there are so many chiefs of security in Baron Blackstone. He has a way to bring all the children together. Are they all sent to the command of Baron Blackstone? Can your family get one such quota, or two? There are three amazing people, the you, the little transparent one caught in the middle, get to take your turn. Quote. Zheng Yan's priority was Ding Ling, who had the best family background among the few. Ding Ling, who was leaning next to Wang Dong just now with a shy face, acted unusually calmly in response to Zheng Yan's sharp words. She put away the shyness on her face, sat upright, stroked the bangs on her forehead, and said softly, I am at home, no matter how unnoticed I am, at least it is not a problem to enter the administrative system of the barony. It is better than the squad leader. You can't even step into the baron's palace, so it's better. Zheng Yan smiled slightly and said disapprovingly, If your wish, Ding Ling, is just to find a stable job and wait for the family to arrange the other half, then I will not keep you here today. Ding Ling turned to Wang Dong and blinked, pursed his lips and said nothing. Wang Dong Hei ran. Was he shot while lying down? Zheng Yan turned her head and looked at Li Ziqing. Ziqing, among the girls in the class, you are the one I admire the most. 
you have a high level of quotient, perseverance and perseverance. More importantly, your vision has never stayed on this mining planet. Unfortunately, the upper limit of the Blackstone Barony objectively limits your growth. Why, after sitting in the financial position of your father's company for two years, are you resigned to your fate and waiting to take over? Don't you know that the younger brother of your father's mistress is almost one year old, and it's probably not your turn to take over in his company? Quote. Li Ziqing raised his head and gave Zheng Yan a cold look. I didn't know that the squad leader was such a nosy person. Since you said that I never set my sights on the mining planet, do you think I would be interested in that shabby company? In addition, the limited trade agreement negotiations between the Blackstone Barony and the Highland Viscounty started two years ago and accelerated a month ago. I know the specific progress better than you. Quote. The smile on Zhang Yan's face was slightly suppressed, but she was not too proud of herself. Her eyes fell on Chen Linfang next to Li Ziqing. Chen Linfang, have you reached the basic level of physical training? If not, the prestige of the Chen Family Martial Arts School will be somewhat unrealistic when it comes to you. I don't dare to carry the reputation of the Chen Family Martial Arts School on my shoulders. Besides, the Chen Family Martial Arts School was closed down decades ago. This statement is inappropriate. Chen Linfang looked at Zheng Yan calmly, his eyes piercing without any distracting thoughts. When he got serious, his voice was rich and powerful, full of quality, as for the bodybuilding technique, that is a skill for noble men, and I don't know it. The Chen family only has one Hanyuan pile technique, and I have just started to learn it. Zheng Yan smiled again and didn't ask any questions. The next target of her eyes was Wang Dong. Before Zheng Yan could speak up, Wang Dong waved his hand first and said with a smile, Your Excellency, squad leader, you are an undisciplined person. I have always been insignificant and have no ambition. Please let me go. Before Wang Dong finished speaking, he only heard the sound. PFF. Nonsense. Hey hey. Not one, but several scoffs. Wang Dong became furious and turned around to glare. Chen Linfang, who looked upright and awe-inspiring just now, puffed out his big cheeks and looked at him innocently. Forget it. Li Ziqing, who was supposed to keep a cold face, subconsciously turned his eyes to the ground when Wang Dong turned around and started counting ants. That's all. Even Ding Ling, who was beside Wang Dong, started to chuckle. Even if Wang Dong looked at him, he just stretched out his little hand to cover his eyes, as if he was hiding his ears and stealing the bell. Zheng Yan, on the other hand, didn't have such a big reaction and still looked at Wang Dong with a half-smile. A group of pig teammates, Wang Dong sighed helplessly, spread his hands, indicating that he gave up the struggle. Squad leader, you say, I humbly accept it. Classmate Wang Dong, speaking of it, you are the person I can't see through the most in this class. Let's call you noble. Whether it's your classmates or teachers, when they mention you, they all say you are easy to get along with. Let's just say you are good at dancing. After 12 years of low-level education, you seem to have a deep friendship with Chen Linfang. For others, it's just getting along. Not many came close. Including Ding Ling, Ziqing, and me. Right. Quote. Zheng Yan chuckled. Wang Dong was surprised and did not object. This is true. The friendship of time travelers is not so cheap. Compared with the group of brats who are classmates in lower education, if they are not truly outstanding, they will not be able to impress them. Besides, Wang Dong still has the most basic feeling of being a classmate. It's just that I didn't have a deep relationship. His views have always been very upright, and he is neither anti-human nor anti-society. Your results have not won the first place a few times, and you are basically hovering around the top 10. But the interesting thing is that the scores in each evaluation are almost the same. No matter the difficulty, quote, Zheng Yan's eyes sparkled with interest. The few times you were first were also the most difficult times in the assessment. Classmate Wang Dong, do you think everyone is a fool? Ha ha ha, I'm just a low-key person, so I have to be humble. Wang Dong scratched his head in embarrassment. I was ignorant when I was young. Many times, the so-called low-key, if not operated properly, can easily turn into pretending to be low-key. Mainly because it was my first time traveling, so I had no experience and didn't have a good sense of proportion. If you just like to keep a low profile, then that's it. This is personal freedom. But classmate Wang Dong, 
if you want to have a far-sighted vision, Ziqing is nothing compared to you. Like us, she doesn't want to waste her life on this remote mining planet. And you, from the very beginning, have been running towards the privileged class. What you want to accomplish is a class leap. It's not hope, but determination. You are confident that you can complete the class leap. Quote. Zheng Yan's eyes flashed with astonishing interest. That's such amazing confidence and determination. From the moment I see this, I have no doubt, classmate Wang Dong, at least at the ideological level, you have left all your classmates behind, at least two levels. Facing the aggressive Zheng Yan, Wang Dong put away the amusement on his face. With the auxiliary system at his side, he has never doubted himself. I never thought that I would be unable to complete the so-called class jump. What he needs is actually just a suitable opportunity that is visible to the naked eye and that he is fully capable of creating. In the eyes of Zheng Yan and others, it would take a lifetime of hard work and enough luck to cross the class ladder. All Wang Dong needed was time. Wang Dong was not surprised to see this. It is easy for a bad person to pretend to be a good person for one day, but if he pretends to be a good person all his life, he will truly become a saint. Before Wang Dong traveled through time, he was just an ordinary person and could not pretend to be a child. He is not an actor. Even an actor cannot pretend to be a child for 10 years. However, in the interstellar era, Wang Dong didn't think there was anything too unusual about this precocity and confidence. Isn't it normal for orphans who come out of orphanages to mature early or have great ambitions? As for Zheng Yan's opinion, I can only say that this girl is indeed extremely talented. The emergence of geniuses in various fields among the huge civilian class is completely in line with various scientific or unscientific laws. Of course, everything I said today is clear, and it would be inappropriate for Wang Dong to keep pretending. So Wang Dong put away the unnecessary expression on his face and looked at Zheng Yan indifferently. You have to have dreams, otherwise when you realize them, you will feel very unfulfilled. The squad leader deliberately left a few of us here and made some candid comments. He thought he had already made up his mind, so he might as well elaborate on it. No matter what, we still have to give him the squad leader's face. Quote. After saying this, Chen Linfang nodded in agreement, Li Ziqing crossed his arms and remained silent, and Ding Ling put on a shy smile again. No one objected. Zheng Yan was not surprised either. She was being candid today to the point of being overly candid, just to create such an environment for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Wang Dong's words allowed Zheng Yan to directly skip the follow-up preparation stage and get to the main topic, saving a lot of trouble. Taking another deep look at Wang Dong, Zheng Yan was even more convinced of her judgment. If she can reach a mutual aid agreement with Wang Dong, the success rate of her plan will increase by at least 10 percentage points. Unfortunately, this man was the only one in the class who could look at her for more than a minute and still remain expressionless. It has the potential to be worse than a beast. Nonsense, Wang Dong was born in an era where mythical beasts were rampant, and his three views were righteous. Watching a six-year-old kid grow into an 18-year-old girl, what would a normal adult soul think? What a bullshit opinion. In a word, I don't feel it. Still miss your childhood sweetheart. The old father's smile dazzles your face. The limited open trade agreement with the Highland Viscounty is an upward path for us. But the path is so narrow that there is no room for many people walking parallel to each other. Zheng Yan's words were so shocking that several people couldn't help but be stunned. As far as I know, the agreement stipulates that the Highland Viscounty allows the citizens of the Blackstone Barony to apply for the secondary education college in the Highland Viscounty. But in fact, in the appendix of the agreement, the scope and scale of the recruitment targets are clearly defined. Quote. Hearing this, Wang Dong blinked and understood. After all, he spent some time in Baron Blackstone's mansion before his rebirth, and he had a better understanding of the actual situation between the two territories. The Bahinia Kingdom, like most countries, is full of contradictions. One of the main conflicts was the conflict between local nobles and the royal power. The king hoped to regain direct local jurisdiction and centralize the kingdom. The local nobles naturally refused. The Blackstone Barony and the Highland Viscounty belong to different camps. The Blackstone Barony is the direct nobility entrusted by His Majesty the King, while the Highland Viscounty is the lower-level nobleman subordinate to the Tianfang earldom. Moreover, 
Since the establishment of the Blackstone Barony, there have always been various conflicts with the Highland Viscounty. Not to mention other aspects, just the mining planet where Wang Dong is located has brought various mineral resources to the Blackstone Barony, which has impacted the sales and prices of minerals in the Highland Viscounty. The relationship between the two is not a good one. The limited trade agreement signed this time has its own background. Both parties also have many restrictions on various terms in the agreement in the appendices. For example, they discuss the terms in the education field. Although the Highland Viscounty allowed the citizens of the Blackstone Barony to apply for the secondary education college in the Highland Viscounty. However, the Blackstone Barony is afraid of a large-scale brain drain within the territory and will limit the scope and number of quotas. The Highland Viscounty is also concerned that the Blackstone Barony will use this opportunity to increase its overall strength too much and will also limit the scope and number of quotas. After such double cuts and restrictions, it would naturally be much more difficult for Wang Dong and others to make the trip. Sure enough, Zheng Yan then revealed some information about the appendices to the agreement that she had obtained from her own channels. First of all, within the Blackstone Barony, children and relatives of administrative officials and other public servants are not allowed to apply. Ding Ling had no expression on his face. Even though she is not taken seriously at home, this cannot change her family composition. Secondly, applicants need to sign a contract and work for the Highland Viscounty for at least 20 years after completing their studies. Chen Linfang looked worried. He was an only son and didn't want to be away from his family for so long. The overall quota is limited, and half of the quota has been reserved by the powerful big shots in the Blackstone Barony before the event is completed. For the common people, if they don't find connections and be prepared for heavy bleeding, they won't be able to win. Li Ziqing frowned in thought. Li Ziqing's family owns a medium-sized company on the mining planet, and her father is considered a minor influence. But the mining planet is just a mining planet. There is more than just one mining planet in the entire Blackstone Barony. With that little connection, I'm really not sure how much I can contribute to this matter. What's more, her father may not be willing to spend his relationship with Li Ziqing. On the other hand, Zheng Yan, seeing that she has channels to obtain this information, at least shows that the relationship network she runs is good enough at this level and there is still hope. But since she deliberately left a few people behind to talk about this matter, it was obvious that her plan was not that simple. Among the few people, only Wang Dong remained calm and calm. He didn't have much interest in it. But this kind of calmness seems particularly different among the several people who have different reactions. Although Zheng Yan had some expectations, she couldn't help but be a little surprised. This guy has quite a lot of confidence. But no abnormalities were found. Could it really be attributed to confidence in one's own abilities? A woman's intuition tells her that it shouldn't be simple. The atmosphere was silent for a moment. Zheng Yan didn't give in, and after waiting for a few people to fully accept it, she directly revealed the key. Wu Hao's, the person in charge of the fourth caravan of the Earl of Tianfang. She slowly uttered a sentence that shocked everyone. Li Ziqing and a few others were naturally involved because of Wu Haozi's identity. The name of Tianfang Earldom is quite high. Even if Wu Haozi is just the person in charge of the caravan, he is still a big shot to them. Besides, since Zheng Yan mentioned him, it meant that they had a chance to connect with this channel. Compared with the Highland Viscounty, the Tianfang Earldom, as its direct superior noble, must have much higher resources. Wang Dong also showed a shocked expression, which made Zheng Yan very happy. It seems that this guy is not really invulnerable to fire and water. Of course, the reason why Wang Dong was surprised was entirely because Wu Hao's was a member of his little black book. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong hoped to solve the Tomahawk's energy crisis, and he turned to Wu Hao's. As a result, not only was he ripped off, but Wu Hao's also leaked information, causing the forces of the Tianfang Earldom to enter the scene and join in the coveting of Wang Dong and the Tomahawk. This directly affected the entire Blackstone Barony and put great pressure on Wang Dong. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong did not attend this class reunion, but he did not expect that Zheng Yan had already connected with Wu Hao's. Two years ago, I met Mr. Wu for the first time. After several contacts and business contacts, we established a certain friendship. 
Mr. Wu admires my personal qualities very much and recently extended a formal invitation to me. He suggested that I join the Tianfang Roldom as a reserve of talents. After Mr. Wu's help and two assessments and reviews, I successfully passed. Quote, Speaking of this, Zheng Yan glanced at everyone and found that several people continued to remain silent. There were no extreme words, nor any emotions such as envy or jealousy. I can't help but feel certain in my heart. As a reserve talent in the earldom, I have the right to form my own small team. I can't say how good the treatment is, but one thing is that all members of the team, including me, can enjoy the benefits in the earldom of Tianfeng. Certain preferential treatment. Especially in terms of educational resources, we will receive considerable tilt training. And if we perform well enough, after several years of training, we can even gain command of a fire warship. Quote. Zheng Yan's cheeks were slightly red and she was slightly excited. As for Li Ziqing, Ding Ling and Chen Linfang, they were fine before, but when they heard that they could obtain the command of the fire battleship, they couldn't help but be moved. The team Zheng Yan refers to is definitely a polite way of saying it. In fact, it means superiors and subordinates. Everyone knows this. Therefore, even if they will be trained by the Tianfang Roldom, a few people have to think carefully. But with the key point of command power of the fire warship, its appeal is completely different. For the civilian class, being able to become a crew member on a fire warship is, to be honest, equivalent to a certain level of pinnacle in life. The road Zheng Yan pointed out now seemed to lead directly to the end, how could they not be moved by it? Wu Hao's is just the person in charge of a caravan. Are you sure he has the authority to prepare talents? Li Ziqing was the first to ask. I'm sure. In the earldom of Tianfang, it is not difficult to obtain the right to recommend candidates. The candidates to be recommended need to pass special assessments and reviews. If they can pass, the recommender will receive many rewards. Whether you can become a preparatory talent mainly depends on yourself, not on recommenders. The assessment I participated in was held at the government office in the Earl of Tianfang. There were also many locals from the Earl of Tianfang and people from different noble territories like me who participated in the assessment. Quote. Zheng Yan replied calmly, Can Tianfang Earldom guarantee the treatment it promised and whether it has clear evaluation criteria? What I mean is, if it wants to obtain the command of the fire battleship. Chen Linfang asked in a deep voice. The relevant benefits are clearly stated and announced by the Earl of Tianfang and are widely known. As for the command of the fire battleship, no fewer than three teams have received this honor. Zheng Yan replied affirmatively. Since the right to recommend reserve talents is not difficult to obtain, why don't we, the few of us, find a way to accept the assessment alone instead of joining your team? Ding Ling's tone was calm, but the questions he raised were the most pointed. The difficulty of the assessment is quite high, and various comprehensive qualities including command ability must be taken into consideration. Even I have a hard time passing. To be honest, among all of you here, I am the only one who can pass. Zheng Yan smiled. Everyone was silent, but they knew what was going on. Since it is a team format, the requirements for leaders will not be low. It requires not only comprehensive qualities, but also emphasis on commanding power, so among the people present, there is indeed no one more suitable than Zheng Yan. In the academy, she is known as a true elite who is a rare talent in 30 years. No matter how confident a few people are, they dare not say that they can beat Zheng Yan, who has been the president of the college's student union since the second grade. Zheng Yan smiled when she saw several people looking interested. Only Wang Dong couldn't help but frown. Classmate Wang Dong, do you have any questions? Zheng Yan knew that as long as she continued her efforts and captured Wang Dong, things would be stable today. In a team, the ability of team members is important, but in the early days of the team's establishment, especially in the subsequent training period that lasts several years, there is a lack of corresponding interest bundling, so what is more important is the harmony and centripetal force within the team. Therefore, the initial team members she chooses are more likely to be classmates who know the basics and have been together for many years. Rather than the more capable person I met later. Ability is easy to cultivate, but team cohesion is not that simple. The Earl of Tianfang is an aristocratic territory that has been passed down for more than a thousand years. The current Earl of Tianfang has been in office for more than 80 years. After a moment of silence, Wang Dong suddenly spoke. 
What he was talking about was still seemingly unrelated to tonight's topic. But Zhang Yan and others didn't mean to interrupt and listened quietly. They didn't think Wang Dong would just talk nonsense. Due to a lack of talent and sufficient perseverance, the current Earl Tianfang's level of physical training is not high, and his health has never been very good. He has been doing nothing for more than 20 years. The more than 10 adult children of Earl Tianfang are responsible for all affairs inside and outside the Earl of Tianfang. In recent years, as Count Tianfang's physical condition has deteriorated, the intensity of the fights between his children has also increased sharply. In this case, once ordinary people are involved, they are basically cannon fodder. Quote. Wang Dong spoke calmly and calmly. In addition, the construction of preparatory talents is in the hands of the third son of Earl Tianfang. He is a famous libertine. He cannot even be called a playboy. The playboy plays a consensual game with you, while the libertine refuses to accept anyone who comes, and then turns his back and refuses to recognize anyone. It is in his hands to build preparatory talents, and in recent years it has basically evolved into a disguised beauty pageant. As for the promised right to command the fire battleship, it is not ownership. The change of ownership will reduce the source point acquisition rate of the fire warship and generally will not be changed arbitrarily. The right to command is just a matter of words. Quote, Seeing everyone's expressions changing again and again, especially Zhang Yan's face, following Wang Dong's words, turning from red to green, then from green to white, and finally turning red again, Wang Dong had the urge to sigh. The girl is still too young, and there are too many slutty tricks in society. If you are not careful, you may not even have any bones left. Wang Dong, is everything you said true? Don't tell it from hearsay. Tianfang ruled them as a giant in the North Star territory after all. How can it be so miserable inside? Seeing Zheng Yan biting her lip and speechless for a moment, Li Ziqing asked bluntly. Wang Dong smiled. Before his rebirth, the earldom of Tianfang was also one of Wang Dong's biggest enemies. Wang Dong made great efforts to collect this basic information. Authenticity is completely guaranteed. But the reason certainly cannot be said to be so. The squad leader has her channels, and I also have mine. As long as you are targeted, this kind of information is not difficult to find out. Anyway, I suggest you be more careful before making decisions on this kind of thing. We are still young and have plenty of time. Wang Dong doesn't need to explain too much, as long as he makes them a little defensive, they will naturally find a way to understand. When it comes to classmates, you can't just watch them jump into the fire pit. Because of Wang Dong's episode, the originally exciting mobilization meeting ended with everyone having their own concerns. Zheng Yan promised to find ways to use other channels to verify Wang Dong's news and apologized to everyone. The attitude is very correct. Li Ziqing and others are not concerned about themselves. They will definitely find ways to find out when they go back. Ding Ling gently pulled Wang Dong's clothes at the end, indicating that he had something to say. Wang Dong slowed down knowingly, and the two of them fell behind. When I was having dinner last night, I heard from my father that a fire battleship and an assault ship came near the mining planet yesterday. And they didn't look like the battleships of the Bahinia Kingdom. They were cruising in nearby airspace for unknown purposes. The patrol fleet stationed on the mining planet has entered a high alert state and has requested help from the Blackstone Barony. During this time, try not to go out for mining. If you really want to go, be sure to pay attention to safety. Quote. Wang Dong's heart skipped a beat and he nodded cautiously. After his rebirth, Wang Dong did not let Sima Disao take advantage of him immediately. On the one hand, it is natural that the hard power is not enough, and it is afraid of being exposed when playing tricks. On the other hand, they just hope not to alert their opponents and cause more trouble. Sima Di Sao has average talents, and Wang Dong can handle it without much pressure. But the follow-up force sent by the Jin family cannot be underestimated. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong used traps and geographical advantages to kill Sima Di Sao, and then faced Sima Delang and Sima Zongda. Among them, Sima Delang is the legitimate direct descendant of the Jin family, and his talent is actually only average. But the key point is that this guy has more characteristics of a direct descendant of the Jin family than Sima Disao. That is, unscrupulous. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong showed a little trick and was considered a suspect. Sima Delang speculated that Wang Dong, 
who was familiar with the mining environment as a miner, might have hidden the tomahawk in the asteroid mining area and immediately took extreme measures. Without caring about being in a foreign country, he dared to give the order and bombard the asteroid mining area with full firepower, trying to find the location where the tomahawk was hiding. This move directly caused chaos in the astronomical environment inside the asteroid belt mining area, causing the deaths of hundreds of interstellar miners. Sima Delang even took the initiative to attack the patrol fleet in the mining area star area that came to stop them. With the powerful combat power of the LV.12 fire battleship, he defeated the patrol fleet. Afterwards, he completely ignored international conventions, commanded warships to approach the mining planet, and threatened to carry out orbital bombing. Domineering and unscrupulous, quite a headache. As for the other person, Sima Zonga, although he was only a collateral descendant of the Jin family, he was not even assigned a fire warship and commanded only an ordinary assault ship. However, Sima Zonga was a thoughtful person with amazing insight. He captured all the clues left by Wang Dong one by one, and his true identity was soon grasped by him. If it weren't for the huge conflict between Sima Zonga and Sima Delang, and if the two worked together, Wang Dong before his rebirth might not even be able to survive a month. The news about Ding Ling came very timely. Let Wang Dong understand that his efforts to reduce trouble seemed to be unsuccessful. Before anything happened to Sima Disao, Sima Delang and Sima Zonga arrived immediately. The fierce competition within the Jin family is well deserved. But Wang Dong did not panic. Since his rebirth, Wang Dong's action plan has basically been based on the worst case scenario of giving leniency to the enemy. The appearance of Sima Delang and Sima Zongda is certainly within the error tolerance. After his rebirth, Wang Dong has never appeared in front of the Jin family. Compared with before, he is different and not so easily exposed. He is in the dark, and the people from the Jin family are in the light. It's good to save some trouble, but it's not without its benefits to be more lively. It is easier to fish in muddy water. Right, July 1st, cloudy. Another mining day. Wang Dong did not take Ding Ling's reminder to heart. Sima Delang's unscrupulousness indeed made Wang Dong more vigilant. However, after careful consideration, Wang Dong still chose to go to the mining area. Sima Delang was unscrupulous, but without getting any clues, he would not brazenly attack the entire mining area like before his rebirth. That's not called being unscrupulous, that's called being crazy. Sima Delang is arrogant and domineering, but he is definitely not a fool. What Wang Dong chose this time was a Prospector 2 near-air mining spacecraft. With its slender profile, the Prospector 2 is the diminutive of short-range mining craft. Its stowage capacity is not high, but correspondingly, it is agile and has a stable flying attitude. Compared with big guys like the Mine Master 2, the Prospector 2 has stronger adaptability in the asteroid belt mining area. Driving the Prospector 2 out of the atmosphere of the mining planet, what came face to face was a small space fortress. The fully powered space fortress unfolds a multifaceted battle stance. Dozens of defensive turrets of different specifications, as well as thick armor and shields scattered all over it, all demonstrate the power of this defense system. For the purpose of saving energy, although the mining planet is equipped with a small space fortress, it is in an energy-saving state most of the time. Apparently, the arrival of several fire warships put the mining planet on alert. This kind of space fortress is a planet-specific defense system. On the basis of relying on planets, it can exert quite powerful combat power. Fire warships below LV-10 cannot deal a fatal blow to it. It is worthy of a battle against fire warships below LV-15. The patrol fleet in the Mining Star area has also raised its alert level accordingly. The Prospector 2 also needs to undergo an identity verification before being released. Wang Dong was also a little bit speechless. It should be said that the reaction of the mining planet is very fast. In this case, as long as the several fire warships of the Jin family do not get accurate information, they will basically not choose to directly turn against the mining planet. Flying all the way to the mining area, nothing unusual happened. When stopping at the forward base, Wang Dong found that the number of interstellar miners out for mining was less than half. It is human nature to seek advantages and avoid disadvantages. Some miners still choose to take a breather before the situation becomes unclear. Lao Shi was also one of them, which made Wang Dong's ears quiet. 
After greeting, little Lina, who was 180 meters tall and 180 meters heavy, Wang Dong followed the window and entered the asteroid belt mining area. In this mining, Wang Dong did not go directly into the depths of the asteroid belt mining area. Instead, he chose to drive the prospector too, along the periphery of the mining area, towards the middle of the asteroid belt. This is to avoid going deep into the asteroid belt mining area, so that if anything happens, you can quickly escape. Secondly, although the middle section of the asteroid belt mining area is on the periphery of the mining area, it is inaccessible. Incompetent miners can only mine near the entry point, while capable miners often mine deep inside the mining area. The middle section of the periphery of the mining area has instead become a blind spot. Wang Dong drove the prospector too, flexibly shuttled through the mining area, and picked his prey lightly. According to the original trajectory, a few months later, in the middle of the asteroid belt mining area, an old miner discovered a concentration of mineral deposits containing intermediate energy crystals. The old miner became rich overnight and immigrated to leave the mining star area and go to a more prosperous planet to enjoy his old age. At that time, Wang Dong happened to be on Blackstone Star, the capital of Blackstone Barony, and heard the news. Different from ordinary people watching the excitement. Being a miner, and the auxiliary system's need for energy crystals, Wang Dong paid special attention to the news, and specifically contacted the old miner to see if he could purchase some energy crystals from Chu. Of course, the acquisition is fruitless. In the process of coming out of the mining planet, the old miners have long been drained of their oil and water. However, we still heard a lot of specific information. This includes the discovery location. After Wang Dong was reborn, he didn't search for this mineral deposit immediately because conditions didn't allow it. A few units of low-level energy crystals can be stowed away in your arms and taken home. If the quantity is large, it will be impossible to hide it from others. This mineral point can only be discovered after the battleship is obtained and there is a place to store it. In addition, the entire asteroid belt mining area is in a state of relative motion. Even if Wang Dong knows the situation of the mineral deposits, it will still take some time to search. Based on the movement patterns of the asteroid belt, we can infer that there are currently three possible coordinate intervals for the mineral deposits with relative coordinates X32, Y12, Z26. One of them is located deep in the mining area and is placed last. Quote, Wang Dong calculated in his mind and based on the calculation results, he first chose a closer location. Eight hours later, Wang Dong controlled the spacecraft, carefully arrived near the first coordinate point, and began scanning with a mineral detector. Not this. Dot and not that. After scanning most of the stars one by one, Wang Dong found nothing except some common minerals. Obviously, the first location is not the correct answer. Wang Dong's ten hours of busy work were all in vain. But he didn't mind. One third chance, it is normal to miss. I hope you will have good luck at the next coordinate point. Wang Dong prayed silently. Calculating coordinate points is not easy. If it were not for the assistance of the shipboard optical brain on the pond, Wang Dong would not be able to do it by himself. This mining time can only allow Wang Dong to explore two coordinate points at most. He still needs some time to collect enough minerals to go back to the poor. Concealing your identity is the most important thing right now. When searching again on the next mining day, the target coordinate points need to be recalculated. The calculation result may be two, maybe three or more, but it is unlikely to be one. It means that you should continue to try your luck. Wang Dong doesn't like this kind of luck-taking behavior. It would be best to solve it once and for all. After another more than seven hours of flight, the prospector too arrived at the second coordinate point. After nearly 20 hours of non-stop control of the spacecraft, Wang Dong was already a little tired. The practice of elementary body training can enhance one's body and energy. Unfortunately, the starlight grass needed to get started with body training is monopolized by the privileged class. Without suitable channels, it is difficult to obtain it. Although he knew that as long as Wang Dong's identity as an illegitimate son was recognized by the Blackstone Baron after a while, he would take him back to the Blackstone Star immediately. At that time, it would be very easy to obtain the starlight grass. But Wang Dong still misses the abundant energy and physical fitness he had before his rebirth and after he had mastered the physical training technique. Opening the mineral detector skillfully, 
Wang Dong began to explore the nearby asteroid minerals. This set of movements has already formed quite a muscle habit for him. Otherwise, he would not be able to recover to the level of an elite miner so quickly after rebirth. Ha! Huh, the data fed back by the detector flows like a waterfall on the small virtual screen in front of Wang Dong. Wang Dong captured the message immediately. Scali ore. This is a rare mineral. The appearance shows a magnificent metallic luster. Apart from being a decorative item, it has little practicality and therefore is of low value. But the miners liked it very much. Because there are often energy crystals wrapped inside this kind of ore. In Wang Dong's memory, one of the characteristics of that mineral deposit is the existence of Sikali ore. Hold on, the answer hasn't been revealed yet. Wang Dong suppressed his excitement. Although the Sikali ore has been discovered, it is not certain whether it is just an isolated case. In addition, whether it contains energy crystals remains unknown until it is cut open. Carefully approach, unfold the magnetic restraint, extend the mining equipment, and conduct cracking and collection. Thirty minutes later, Wang Dong used a small hand drill to cut through the last layer of Sikali ore and looked at the fist-sized intermediate energy crystal contained inside. Nearly two units of intermediate energy crystals. In addition, during subsequent detection, Wang Dong successively discovered many traces of Sikali ores. There is no doubt that Wang Dong found the correct solution at the second coordinate point. Ha ha, thank you fate for favoring me. Wang Dong laughed heartily. And seize the time and give priority to collecting all the nearby Sikali ores into the cargo hold of the Prospector 2. As for further cracking to collect the energy crystals inside, Wang Dong was in no hurry to do it. Time is precious and cannot be wasted on the long manual lysis process. As long as these Sikali ores are collected first and transferred to the pond, Wang Dong can completely complete this procedure slowly. Wang Dong left here only after all types of ores near the coordinate point were mined, not only the Scali ore, but also other common minerals. Although other types of ores are not like Scali ores, they have a high probability of containing energy crystals. But I didn't let go of the wrong ones. Since this is a rich spot for energy crystals, it is obvious that the possibility of energy shields contained in other types of minerals is much higher than in other places. If it was just rough mining, Wang Dong would still be willing to spend this little time. Wang Dong drove the prospector to and carefully merged with the pond. It was already five hours later. On the pond, Wang Dong unloaded hundreds of tons of minerals harvested this time that may contain energy crystals. In addition, some of the more valuable minerals stored on the pond were loaded. This is a mineral that Wang Dong has collected before and is preparing to use for strengthening and upgrading the shipboard module on the pond. There is not much mining time left at the moment, so Wang Dong uses this part of the reserve first to use it as a normal harvest from this mining. Of course, these harvested quantities are not enough, so Wang Dong still needs to drag his tired body and continue to drive the prospector too to collect some other minerals. Hurrying slowly, Wang Dong finally managed to fill up 70% to 80% of the cargo hold of the Prospector 2 with minerals of medium value or above before the normal mining time ended. That's how it's settled. On the way back, Wang Dong encountered several mining spacecraft traveling with him. During the chat, Wang Dong got an interesting news. Someone is offering a reward for any valuable information about the fire warship and the ship's modules. Due to the nature of their work, interstellar miners are a relatively closed group. All they need is superb skills, and the only people they need to deal with are their peers and mining companies. And such a closed group can receive rewards, which shows that the rewarders have spent great efforts to collect information. Moreover, the person offering the bounty does not care about exposing his or her existence. This kind of handwriting and style allowed Wang Dong to immediately identify the person who offered the reward. Sima Delang, most likely it is him. Wang Dong smiled. Although he has never been good at all kinds of conspiracies. But the information advantage brought by his rebirth about his enemies was enough for him to fake several clever calculations. Last time, Sima Delang took similar measures. Therefore, Wang Dong has already prepared countermeasures to divert disaster eastward. The person in charge of the fourth caravan of Tianfeng Ruldom is Wu Hao's. During this business trip, a purple quality shipboard module was successfully acquired. This ship-based module has little practical value for ordinary fire warships. 
but for Wang Dong and Pan Dao, they can be regarded as complementary to each other. Count Tianfang's caravan has considerable escort force and is staying near the mining star field. Wu Hao's himself took his own ship to the mining planet to handle related trade matters. A few days ago, after being reminded by Ding Ling, Wang Dong carefully disguised himself and gradually released the news in some bars and other places. Rumors about Earl Tianfang's fourth caravan recently acquiring high-quality ship-based modules were originally just gossip. It lasts for a few days, and as time goes by, it will naturally be covered by new gossip. But if you happen to catch up with someone offering a bounty for all the news about the fire battleship and high-quality ship-based modules. So, Wu Hao's himself was recorded in Wang Dong's small notebook. Wang Dong is also very greedy for the ship-based modules he transported this time. Wang Dong didn't dare to take action directly. Can't beat it. There are two fire warships above LV-10, as well as several other auxiliary warships. But it doesn't matter if Wang Dong doesn't work, there are still two fire warships from the Jin family. Sima Zongda is thoughtful and will not be easily impulsive. But Sima Disao and Sima Delang were different. As long as it can be confirmed, there are high-quality ship-based modules in the fourth caravan of Tianfang Roldam. Moreover, it was at such a sensitive time and place that, Yuan Shu was bound to die, and the whereabouts of the tomahawk were unknown. With the Jin family's consistent style, they would never let Wu Haozi's caravan go. If the high-quality modules in Wu Haozi's caravan are indeed from Yuan Shu's tomahawk, then of course it would be best. Even if not, it is equally acceptable to the Jin family to be able to obtain other high-quality ship-based modules without losing any trace of the tomahawk. In addition, as time went by, Sima Delang began to offer a generous reward that almost alerted the snake. The reason why the Jin family came to the remote mining star region this time was basically guessed. The local forces in the mining area are also interested in Yuan Shu's tomahawk. As long as the water is muddy, it's easier to catch fish. Wu Haozi's caravan, the Jin family's fire warship, the local forces in the mining star region, plus other wanderers who may have followed the fishy smell. This flowing water is already turbid enough. Wang Dong, who is hiding in the dark, has a probability of success in catching fish. Not to mention Wang Dong successfully returned to the mining planet. After several days of fermentation, the reward order issued by the mysterious person received a lot of feedback. On Sima Delang's ship, the intelligence officer had already made a preliminary summary of the collected information. Your Majesty Captain, the preliminary analysis report has come out. So far, a total of 123,000 pieces of relevant information have been received, and after preliminary screening, 132 pieces of valuable information have been found. Quote, At first glance, the amount of valuable intelligence, only 0.1%, seems quite exaggerated. In fact, this is quite normal in intelligence work. The so-called intelligence work is not like in some film and television works, which only involve sneaking into so-called important places and stealing important documents from safes. On the contrary, in reality, real intelligence work is to collect a large amount of various information through various channels and then filter out the information that contains corresponding value. Finding a needle in a haystack is an understatement. The intelligence officers on Sima Delang's ship were able to complete the collection and sorting of intelligence in just a few days, and their professional standards were considered to be good. The debriefing continues. Chapter 61 Through the classification and preliminary investigation of 132 pieces of valuable intelligence, we eliminated 54 pieces of intelligence with an accuracy rate of less than 30%. 62 pieces of intelligence that exceeded the time limit, and 13 pieces of intelligence that exceeded the upper limit of our strength, information, leaving 3 pieces of information with actionable value. A total of funds were consumed. Sima Delang raised his hand to stop the intelligence officer from continuing to speak. Tell me the information directly and don't waste time with other trivial things. Intelligence officers are accustomed to skipping the content of subsequent reports and going directly to the analysis results. The first piece of information is that the fourth caravan of Earl Tianfang is stationed near the mining area Star Field. Its fleet transports high-quality ship-based modules. It is suspected to be obtained in the near future. The accuracy rate of this information is over 80%. Quote, 
The second piece of information is that a fire warship has frequently appeared in the asteroid belt mining area recently. Based on the description of its appearance, it can be identified as the ship of His Excellency Sima de Sao. This information has been confirmed. Quote, the third piece of information is that one of the many star thief groups existing at the junction of Blackstone Barony and Highland Viscounty may possess a high-quality ship-based module. The probability of this piece of information is 35%. Quote, Sima de Lang showed a cruel smile. So, the only suspect at the moment is the caravan of County Anfang. The intelligence officer respectfully said, Based on many discussions among colleagues and all the intelligence collected so far, we all agree that Yuan Shu is dead and the probability of the tomahawk sinking without owner is the highest. Under this premise, the fourth caravan of Earl Tianfang and the local forces in the mining area have the highest probability of finding the wreckage of the tomahawk. Of course, it is not ruled out that His Excellency Sima Di Sao and Sima Zongda made the first move. Quote, when the intelligence officer mentioned Sima Di Sao, Sima De Lang snorted impatiently. I know that guy very well. If he really found him, he wouldn't behave like this. Sima Zongda is a dog raised by Sima Di Sao, and he is surrounded by Sima Di Sao's people. Finding him is equivalent to finding Sima Di Sao. As for the local forces in the Mining Star area, they don't even have a fire warship. Even if the wreckage of the tomahawk is found, it will be put up for sale, so just pay attention. On the contrary, it was Count Tianfang's caravan that was the most suspicious. Are you sure that the caravan's cargo includes high-quality ship-based modules? Quote. The intelligence officer nodded slightly. We used some means to verify several members of Earl Tianfang's caravan. It was concluded that there were indeed high-quality shipboard modules in the caravan, but it could not be determined whether they came from the tomahawk. Quote. Sima de Lang laughed. It doesn't matter, as long as we have high-quality ship-based modules, we will not lose money. Yuan Shu's mission was led by Sima de Sao, and he was also the one who took the blame for the failure of the mission. I came here just to pick peaches, and it doesn't matter if I succeed or fail. If you can easily make a fortune, that's pure profit. You can start formulating a caravan battle plan against Count That. Quote. The intelligence officer hesitated slightly. Your Excellency, Captain, Earl Tianfang is the largest force in the nearby star field, and its caravan escort force is not weak. With our ship alone, the probability of achieving ideal results is too low. Sima Delang instantly darkened his face and said displeased L.Y. There is nothing to be concerned about with a mere local power. After we succeed, we will leave the Bahinia Kingdom and return to the Plantagenet Federation. No matter whether he is the Earl of Tianfang or the Marquis of Tianfang, it is all in vain. As for the escort force, how powerful can a caravan be? Besides, at this time, the most urgent person is Sima Di Sao. If he fails to complete the task, his own evaluation will be deducted. As long as you tell him this information, are you afraid that he won't take the lead? You are a bunch of idiots, raising you is a waste of resources. Quote. The intelligence officer was scolded bloody, but he did not dare to refute at all. Wei Wei promised, and it was not until Sima Delang's anger subsided that he dared to cautiously say, Earl Tianfang's fourth caravan has twelve escort warships. Among them, there are two LV-10 fire warships, four reconnaissance ships, and six assault ships, and eight large transport spacecraft. The suggestion from the operations department is whether the captain can come forward and reach a certain level of consensus with Sima Di Sao, so that the two ships can fight together. Quote, two LV-10 fire warships, plus up to ten ordinary warships. Sima De Lang was surprised when he heard about the strength of Earl Tianfang's fourth caravan. Even if the ship's comprehensive combat power rating reaches LV-12, Sima De Lang also understands that he or Sima Di Sao alone will definitely not be able to survive. Of course he will not admit his previous mistakes. The trash and the combat department are of some use after all. Okay, I'll take the lead in deceiving Sima Di Sao and I'll do it myself. After waving the intelligence officer away, Sima De Lang thought for a moment and then connected to Sima Di Sao's communication. On Sima Di Sao's ship, after ending the communication with Sima De Lang with a gloomy expression, Sima Di Sao picked up the decorations on the table in front of him and smashed them to the ground angrily. Sima De Lang, you've gone too far. Not only do you want me to fight in the front line, but you also want me to take a big share of the spoils. 
After venting like a storm, Sima Disao gasped for air, eyes red, and turned to the side of the adjutant who did not dare to breathe. Put me through Sima Zonga. Half a day later, the two fire warships of the Jin family reached a consensus and began to move in formation, cruising outside the mining area. Sima Zonga's assault ship landed on the mining planet after passing the identity verification. Wang Dong did not know about the merger of the Jin family fleets. In order to hide itself, the pond has always remained silent and hidden in the asteroid belt. But the bait has been released. Wang Dong has a deep understanding of the virtues of the Jin family's children, and he has a good guess about the course of action they may take. He didn't need to find a way to find out the movements of the Jin family's warships. He only needs to pay attention to Wu Haozi's whereabouts. In the mining area Star Region, if Wu Haozi's caravan encounters an unexpected event, they can choose to move closer to the mining area planet at any time and obtain help from the Space Fortress and Patrol Fleet. This is allowed by the limited mutual aid responsibilities between the nobles of the Bahinia Kingdom. If the Jin family warships want to attack Wu Haozi's caravan, they will definitely choose to leave the mining area for a certain distance. The Mining Star territory belongs to the Blackstone Barony, but it is actually an enclave. There is a large worthless no man's land between this remote star field and other star fields. There are still many suitable places to start on the route. As for the local forces in the Mining Star area, of course Wang Dong would not mind it as much as Sima Delang. Although in terms of hard power, these local forces, such as the Sky Shark Chamber of Commerce, the Sky Tiger Caravan and even the Kingfisher Guild, may not even be able to produce a fire warship. But local snakes can never be underestimated. Just like the reward order issued by Sima Delang before, the intervention of local forces is also indispensable. The local forces can obtain copies of the information that Sima Delang spent a lot of money to obtain with almost no effort. In this case, if the Jin family warship wants to take action against Count Tianfang's caravan, these moles will not mind taking a bite. This is also a variable. Wang Dong, who is planning to fish in troubled waters, must also pay attention to it. Wu Haozi's whereabouts do not require Wang Dong to take action on his own. By keeping in touch with Zheng Yan, Wang Dong could easily get information about Wu Hao's. In the past few days, Zheng Yan has verified Wang Dong's previous news through other channels. In the earldom of Tianfang, there is indeed a lot of shady affairs regarding the construction of reserve talents. The selection of preparatory talents continues, and there is no shortage of talents who stand out. But there are also many beauties who, in the name of so-called preparatory talents, were included in the earldom of Tianfang, but there is no news at all. With Zheng Yan's strength, she can indeed pass the assessment of preparatory talents. But with her appearance and figure, it is indeed difficult to avoid the covetousness of the third son of Earl Tianfang. Unless she is ready to sacrifice herself for free, this road will not work. Then it is obvious what role Wu Hao's plays in this. To put it mildly, he is just a pimp. You can imagine Zhang Yan's disgust towards him. Women are different from gentlemen. Revenge is always from morning to night. As far as Wang Dong knows, Zheng Yan has been taking active actions recently to try to teach Wu Hao's a lesson. She really needs to take some action to respond. Otherwise, in the eyes of Li Ziqing, Ding Ling and others who know the situation, Zheng Yan's image will undoubtedly plummet. This impact may even spread to the entire class and even the entire school. There is no doubt that it will have serious negative consequences for Zheng Yan's connections. This is a manifestation of people's inability to control themselves in the arena. Many times, you can't give in just because you want to. People who are at the forefront of the storm or in leadership positions really can't stand it. So if you really want to keep a low profile, you can't expect to keep a low profile while pretending to be cool. That is self-deception. Through Zheng Yan, Wang Dong obtained a lot of information. Wu Hao's came to the mining planet this time mainly to purchase a batch of high-value minerals. After Zheng Yan exerted pressure through various channels at all costs, she successfully caused Wu Haozi's purchase price to increase by 25% and the purchase volume to decrease by 20%. This kind of achievement is a big setback for Wu Hao's and will affect his performance evaluation value. Of course, she and Wu Hao's were also completely at odds. Participating in it and helping Zhang Yan were Li Ziqing, Ding Ling and Chen Linfang. 
With the security chief of the mining planet behind his back, Ding Ling was almost packaged and sold to the earldom of Tianfeng. How could he survive this? Li Ziqing is similar, using his family connections in the business community to add fuel to the flames. Chen Linfang's ancestor opened a martial arts school and was influential in certain fields. Even Wang Dong has made many small moves on the side of mining companies. In this three-thirds of an acre of land on the mining planet, as local snakes, they can still do something. The combined efforts of several parties not only brought a lot of trouble to Wu Hao's, but through cooperation, the relationship between the several people was also somewhat different from before. Although the news brought by Zheng Yan did not really provide an upward channel. But she succeeded in awakening the ambitions in several people's hearts. This group hugging was a subconscious reaction. Wu Hao's negotiated the deal in disgrace, shipped the goods five days later, and left the mining area. In addition, while Zheng Yan was targeting Wu Hao's, she discovered that someone else was also collecting information about Wu Hao's and his caravan. More importantly, Wang Dong actually knew this person. It's Sima Zongda. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong had many interactions with Sima Zongda. Sima Zongda was a collateral descendant of the Jin family. In other words, he had a very low background and was considered the most marginalized member of the family. Not only did he come from a bad background, but his family conditions were also very poor. His parents died when he was young, and he and his sister depended on each other. Relying on his own intelligence and hard work step by step, Sima Zongda not only restored the family business, but also raised it to a new height. If he ends here, his growth trajectory can be regarded as a model for the rise of a collateral fool. Unfortunately, Sima Zongda's background determines his upper limit within the Jin family system. After reaching a certain level, the ceiling, both overt and covert, ensues. At the same time, it has become impossible to remain independent. In this case, Sima Zongda had no choice but to join Sima Disao's disciples. This time, Sima Disao took over the task of tracking down Yuan Shu and the Tomahawk only at the suggestion of Sima Zongda. The instigation of rebellion against members of Yuan Shu's crew and the ambush of Yuan Shu were also the work of Sima Zongda, which directly caused Yuan Shu's death. It was only Sima Disao's negligence in the actual operation that gave Yuan Shu a chance to escape. He insisted on staying alive for 24 hours, allowing the tomahawk to be passed on to Wang Dong. After losing the whereabouts of Yuan Shu and the tomahawk, Sima Disao was forced to summon Sima Zongda to come for support. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong's last-ditch battle sank Sima Di's ship, making Sima Zongda the successor executor of Yuan Shu's mission. Under his investigation, Wang Dong's true identity was quickly discovered. And through the anomalies that Wang Dong was forced to expose, he realized that Wang Dong contained great value that far exceeded Yuan Shu himself. Sima Zongda regarded this as a hope to break the ceiling and improve his status, so he reported it to his family. Then Sima Delang picked the peach directly. Compared with Sima Disao, Sima Zongda was even more helpless when facing the malice from Sima Delang. What's more serious is that there was a fire in the backyard. Sima Zongda's sister was attracted by a direct descendant, but she was killed without force. Sima Zongda made a big fuss when he returned and only asked for some compensation. The direct descendant was severely punished, and after paying a certain price of benefits, that was all. Instead, Sima Zongda suffered continuous suppression. Eventually Sima Zongda rebelled against the Jin family. In the previous life, when Wang Dong was hunted down by the Jin family, Sima Zongda also provided several helping hands. Of course it was for the purpose of revenge on the Jin family. This is why Wang Dong recognized Sima Zongda immediately. Sima Zongda is a talented person. After he betrayed the Jin family, he brought much more trouble to the Jin family than Wang Dong. It's a pity that no matter how poor Sima Zongda's status is, he still belongs to the Jin family and enjoys the basic treatment of the privileged class. Compared to Wang Dong, I don't know how much better it is. Otherwise, Wang Dong really has the idea of taking him under his wing. The appearance of Sima Zongda made Wang Dong certain that his plan was progressing smoothly. The two Jin brothers were indeed eyeing Wu Haozi's caravan. Otherwise, there would be no need for Sima Zongda to personally monitor Wu Hao's and collect intelligence. July 10, another mining day. With the new target of the Jin family warship, the threat to Wang Dong is greatly reduced. 
Wang Dong went to work as usual. One day is spent mining normally, and the other day is spent on the pond, cracking the ores collected previously one by one. After cutting open one third of the ore, Wang Dong obtained 18 units of low level energy crystals and one unit of intermediate energy crystals. Counting the two units of intermediate energy crystals dissected last time, at least Pan No will no longer have to worry about energy reserves in the short term. Wu Haozi's caravan had completed loading goods yesterday. Two transport spaceships landed on the mining planet, unloaded many cargoes needed by the mining planet, and then carried a large amount of high value minerals. After completing the supply, the spacecraft took off and joined the convoy fleet, preparing to leave the mining area and head to the next stop on the trade route. This is the daily life of a caravan. On the fixed trade routes opened up, they would stop at one stop and conduct trade. While earning profits, he also undertakes other overt and covert tasks. In the Bahinia Kingdom, without the support of the great nobles, such a stable long-term trade route cannot be established. The vast starry sky contains many lawless places. Uneasy factors such as the Star Thief group and the remnants of alien races exist in every corner of the Star Sea. The universe is not a peaceful vacation place. July 14, Mining Planet, Light Rain. With the departure of Wu Haozi's caravan, the two fire warships have also disappeared for many days, and the mining star region seems to have returned to its previous calm. The patrol fleet's alert level has not yet been lowered, but the battle-ready status of the battle fortress has been lifted. Wang Dong held an umbrella and walked on the street. Next to him is Ding Ling, who is following suit. Ahead, the carefree Chen Linfang was splashing in the water with great interest, causing Li Ziqing to keep a long distance from him. Wu Hao's has suffered a defeat this time and will never give up. Ding Ling said worriedly, It doesn't matter. The Earl of Tianfang is too busy taking care of itself and has not exerted any influence on the outside world for many years. Moreover, Wu Hao's is an outsider after all. The relationship is only business related at best, and he can't help us as local snakes. Wang Dong smiled. Besides, if anything happens, the squad leader will be there to support you, so you won't be afraid. Zheng Yan, who was last, rolled her eyes at Wang Dong angrily after hearing this, regardless of whether he could see it or not. Don't worry about Wu Hao's. He has gotten into more than a little trouble this time. It remains to be seen whether he can go back safely. The person who said this was not Ding Ling, who theoretically should be better informed, but Chen Linfang. This is quite unexpected. Chen Linfang couldn't help but scratch his hair as everyone focused on him. Recently, several local forces on the mining planet have taken action. Such a big move cannot be hidden from the locals. Only outsiders like Wu Hao's will not get the news. Quote. Wang Dong understood. The existence of a martial arts school is unlikely unless it is related to local forces. The two assault ships of the Sky Shark Chamber of Commerce took off yesterday and their whereabouts are unknown. Li Ziqing added, The Kong Shark Chamber of Commerce is dispatched, and his rival Tianyu caravan will definitely not stand idly by. In addition, the Kingfisher Guild has no intention of missing out on this excitement. Zheng Yan quickened her pace, and after passing a few people, she turned her hands behind her back, turned to face the few people, and said quietly. Wang Dong laughed and said, It's rare to see the local forces in the Mining Star acting in such a coordinated manner. It's a pity that we can't participate in it and can only wait for the result on the Mining Star. Yes, at least four fire warships and twenty ordinary warships participated. A battle of this scale should be considered unprecedented for the Mining Star region, right? Zheng Yan said leisurely with some yearning. Everyone has a feeling of sadness. As a member of the civilian class, he has lofty aspirations, is dissatisfied with the status quo, and yearns for the stars. This is what they have in common, and it is also the reason why they meet again today. Although Zheng Yan's hopes of rising to the top of the Tianfang Roldam failed, a small team was still taking shape invisibly. It's just that Zheng Yan is no longer in the leadership position with a half-step lead, but everyone is relatively equal. I have always paid attention to the promotion channels of the civilian class. But at least in the Bahinia Kingdom, it is relatively unrealistic. Among the nobility, the civilian class cannot immigrate at will, which greatly restricts population mobility and is not conducive for us to study abroad. Unless one is appreciated by a certain noble, there is basically no way for the civilian class to rise. 
Quote. Zheng Yan said seriously, Yes, so we should look further afield. For example, the neighboring countries of the Bahinia Kingdom, the Plantagenet Federation. Li Ziqing's eyes shone with admiration, and he nodded in praise. There are hundreds of secondary education colleges in the Plantagenet Federation, and the enrollment targets include all classes. The common people in the Plantagenet Federation can get the opportunity to rise in class through the unified examination. Democracy, freedom, what a desirable atmosphere. Quote. Moved by Li Ziqing's emotional description, Chen Linfang asked with some yearning, is the Plantagenet Federation really that good? Then can we develop in the Plantagenet Federation? Ding Ling shook his head and said, I heard my father mention that the security in the Plantagenet Federation is indeed better, and there are not so many star thief groups and the like. But other than that, it seems to be similar to the Bahinia Kingdom. What does it mean that it's almost the same as the Bahinia Kingdom? Doesn't it mean that there is no such thing as a noble collar in Plantagenet, and the population can move freely and enjoy the dividends of social development? Li Ziqing asked in confusion. She wasn't questioning Ding Ling, but just a simple question. Ding Ling's family background determines that he has many advantages over ordinary people in obtaining certain information. After all, she was born and raised in a remote area like a mining planet. Among the few people, even Zheng Yan, who is the most outstanding, is still limited by objective conditions and does not have a broad vision. In other words, there is basically no vision at all. Otherwise, Wu Hao's would not be deceived so easily. The main reason was that he was confused by the name of Tianfang Roldum. The same is true now. Several people were also misled by the Plantagenet Federation's external propaganda. After all, they are too far apart, and when they talk about it, they are all rumors and the like, so the accuracy is of course worrying. Wang Dong smiled and said. The privileged class in the Plantagenet Federation cares more about food and appearance than the Bahinia Kingdom. If the publicity is good, the FACE project will be decent. There are many secondary education colleges, but there is only one related to the fire battleship, the Federal Sky Patrol Secondary Education College. Not only is the entrance threshold high, but only fresh graduates can apply. As foreigners, we want to obtain the qualifications of fresh graduates. He <laughs> he. Quote. Several people were silent. Indeed, when you think about being in a foreign country and an unfamiliar place, you not only have to solve the identity problem, but also have to obtain the qualifications of a fresh graduate. This kind of difficulty is not something that young people who have only entered the society for a few years can pat their heads on. Just figured it out. Also, the Blackstone Barony we are in is located on the side of the Plantagenet Federation. How can we cross a distance that is so long that it can be measured in light years, pass through the large and small nobles in it, and then cross the border? Wang Dong's extremely realistic words shattered the dreams of several people in one fell swoop. Is this all we can do is waste time? I don't know who said it softly. For a moment, several people felt depressed. Soon after, they dispersed. Wang Dong did it on purpose. Young people's emotions are inherently unstable. For anyone, the road to class advancement is a goal worth striving for throughout their lives. Only temporary passion will not help. Only the true brave men who have unwavering faith and can keep moving forward without changing their original intention even after all kinds of setbacks and hardships can hope to enjoy the delicious fruits of victory. Several people had just found hope in Zheng Yan, but they were severely suppressed again. Later, through joint revenge against Wu Hao's, hope was restored. Then just now Wang Dong suppressed it again. Such frequent ups and downs can easily make people with weak willpower give up. If a few people can rekindle the fire of hope in the short term, in Wang Dong's view, they will be considered as people with lofty ideals who are truly determined to transcend their class. It is worth the subsequent investment of resources. After some time, after Wang Dong returned to the Blackstone Baron Mansion as an illegitimate son, he also needed some of his own team. Relatively speaking, after 12 years of school life, finding suitable talents among these classmates who know the basics is one of the most time-saving and labor-saving channels. Returning home, Wang Dong took a short rest. In the afternoon, I packed my simple luggage and went out on time at 3 o'clock. A maglev RV was already parked at the door. Youth Chow Travel Agency is at your service wholeheartedly. Is this Mr. Wang Dong? According to your online reservation, 
This Z3 luxury RV will be used by you in the next 15 days. After the driver in neat uniform got out of the car, he politely verified the ID code presented by Wang Dong and then handed the keys of the RV to Wang Dong. Although it is called a luxury RV in name, it is actually an ordinary RV. The price is high, with half a month's rent costing nearly more than 80,000 yuan, which is almost as much as Wang Dong's entire net income from one mining operation. This money still has to be spent. Wu Haozi's caravan has already set sail and left the mining area. Jin family battleships followed closely behind. Behind them are a group of hyenas including local forces such as the Kong Shark Chamber of Commerce. Wang Dong is very interested in this battle and cannot miss it. Not to mention that the Jin family and Wu Hao's were both targets on his small book. The ship-based module collected by Wu Haozi's caravan this time is also something Wang Dong must obtain. The universe and starry sky are vast and boundless. If you want to track a certain caravan, you can't go too far. Now that Wu Hao's and others have set off, Wang Dong must follow them in time. Today is only July 14th, and there are still several days until Wang Dong's mining day. By then, if we set out to pursue Wu Haozi's caravan, we will find no trace of them. Moreover, Wang Dong was not sure when and where the Jin family's warships would choose to attack Wu Hao's. This process cannot be covered up by two or three days of mining. So Wang Dong simply cancelled the next mining day and took a self-driving trip in the name of vacation instead. Getting in the car, Wang Dong started the RV and left the city. Of course, the mining planet is not a tourist planet. However, there are not many people living on it, and the urbanized area is even smaller. There are vast tracts of unexplored land on the surface of the planet. In addition, before the mining planet was set foot on by humans, no aboriginal creatures were found on it, and the subsequent ecological environment was gradually cultivated. There are still quite a few places for sightseeing and sightseeing. At the same time, the RV is also equipped with light self-defense weapons and enough supplies for half a month, so basic safety is relatively guaranteed. Later, through his personal smart terminal, Wang Dong modified his personal status to Summer vacation is coming, take a few days to relax and leave a message if you have anything to do. Several comments popped up immediately. Chen Linfang. Tong Song, Tong Song, I'll go clubbing for 30 hours first. Li Ziqing. I envy those who have professional freedom and can control their own time. Ding Ling. Don't be too tired, your health is important. Comma. Wang Dong glanced at them one by one. If there was no need to respond, he put them aside. At 9.30 p.m., Wang Dong had driven away from the city. This distance is almost enough. Wang Dong grunted. Park the vehicle and get out of the car. After walking a few dozen meters, I looked up at the sky. Without any light or shadow, an armed robot was dropped next to Wang Dong silently. It's the pond number. The pond, which turned on the hidden state of the mirage system, easily avoided the warning line above the mining planet, descended to the planet, and came to greet Wang Dong. In the hidden state, the originally eye-catching magnetic tractor beam became traceless. Under Wang Dong's command and help, the armed robot, which was originally responsible for security on the pond, put on the hooded suit prepared by Wang Dong and sat in the RV. Wang Dong then removed his personal smart terminal and put it on the armed robot. The stand-in arrangement is completed. General driving skills are just a small skill for armed robots. Wang Dong set instructions for the armed robot. During Wang Dong's absence, the armed robot would drive to different scenic spots every day according to preset instructions, and spend the night in the wild to cover up Wang Dong's whereabouts. At the same time, Wang Dong also set up an emergency plan. If encountering a small probability event, such as a robber or a natural disaster, the armed robot will give priority to escape. Disappearance is easier to explain than leaving the remains of an armed robot on the spot. Later, through the magnetic tractor beam, Wang Dong boarded the pond. Instead of leaving in a hurry, he controlled the pond and continued to hover in the sky for nearly an hour. During this period, there was no abnormal movement, and the survey radar did not detect anything. Then, the pond raised its bow and accelerated out of the gravitational range of the mining planet and entered the real universe. This is also the first time in many days that the pond has left the shelter of the asteroid belt mining area. The Star Sea submarine has officially begun.
The pond, which always remained in hiding, moved away from the mining planet at full speed. Before the 24-hour duration of the invisibility state expired, Wang Dong found a suitable place and exited the invisibility state in advance. Instead of waiting until the duration is over and suddenly showing up, exposing the effect of the mirage system, it is better to actively end it in advance and drive in a normal posture. The revamped pond is no longer the tomahawk that had to hide all year round to avoid being tracked by the Jin family. Wang Dong did not let the pond move at full speed. With an uneven crew and insufficient supplies, the pond's combat effectiveness in this universe is not high. Although the comprehensive evaluation level of combat power is LV7, judging from Wang Dong's experience, whether he can perform at the LV5 level is problematic. The comprehensive combat power ratings of the two Jin family fire warships are LV-11 and LV-12 respectively, while the two fire warships in Wu Haozi's caravan are both LV-10. The four fire warships are still fully manned and can fully exert their combat power. There is no need to rush to deliver food in a hurry. Furthermore, Wu Haozi's caravan had just left the mining planet and could return at any time, so it was not the right time to take action. Wang Dong would not consider approaching the battlefield until the Jin family's warships took action. And you must ensure that you are in a hidden state before you dare to approach. The Mirage system of LV-0 can provide a hidden state for 24 hours, which needs to be carefully controlled. It cannot be wasted carelessly. Although it is not moving at full speed, the speed of the fire battleship is much higher than that of the transport spacecraft. Therefore, the distance between Pond and Wu Haozi's caravan is always shrinking. Wang Dong is not a newbie. Ten years of being hunted have tempered his big heart and rich experience in pursuit and escape. The route of Wu Haozi's caravan, especially the route that just left the mining planet, is not a secret. Wang Dong estimated factors such as speed and distance quite accurately. After half a day of chasing, he successfully saw the light spot representing the battleship on the sky survey radar. Although it is just an ordinary small battleship, not a fire battleship. This should be the assault ship of several local forces such as the Kongshark Chamber of Commerce. Based on the ship type and quantity, Wang Dong was confident. Assault ships are small warships, mainly used for assault operations. The overall cost performance is good, but the upper limit is not high. Then he reduced the speed again just to ensure that the several assault ships in front would not leave the maximum detection range of the survey radar on the pond. Although the survey radar on the pond is a low-quality ship-based module, it is at least enhanced to LV-2. Compared with ordinary warships from local forces such as the Sky Shark Chamber of Commerce, its performance is much higher. Therefore, Wang Dong can maintain a distance of, I can see you, but you can't see me, with ease. Decorated from a distance. The detection range of the pond exceeds the assault ships of the Kongxia Chamber of Commerce and others, but Wang Dong dare not say that it can surpass the two fire warships of the Jin family. Therefore, Wang Dong would not risk getting close to the Jin family's warships and Wu Haozi's caravan. Instead, they judge the progress of the situation by observing the movements of warships from local forces such as the Sky Shark Chamber of Commerce. This process of tracking with the tail hanging from a distance lasted for two full days. Quite boring, but it is the daily routine of sailing in the Sea of Stars. Even if he was alone, controlling a huge warship alone, Wang Dong still seemed very relaxed. Compared with the daily life before being reborn, where he was often hunted and had to remain alert, now he could live a leisurely life where he only needed to turn on automatic navigation and follow the warships in front of him at a fixed distance. Wang Dong expressed great satisfaction. July 17, 735. Didi, the ship's optical brain issued a rapid beep, startling Wang Dong who was in the cargo hold cracking the ore collected previously. After two days of hard work, Wang Dong has cracked the minerals collected at the energy crystallization enrichment point last time, leaving only some finishing work left. Obtain 33 units of low-level energy crystals and 5 units of intermediate energy crystals. At this time, the total number of low-level energy crystals possessed by the pond has reached 51 units, and the total number of intermediate energy crystals has reached 8 units. Wang Dong put down the tools in his hands and rushed to the command cabin. The assault ships hanging in the distance suddenly began to accelerate. This abnormality triggered Wang Dong's preset command, and the ship's optical brain began to alarm. 
Wang Dong thought for a moment and then ordered resolutely. An hour later, the Mirage system completed charging, and the pond successfully escaped into hiding. Randomly, the pond's engines were turned on and it chased ahead. In fact, this battle involving four fire warships and more than a dozen ordinary small warships started at 6.12 on July 17. When sailing out of the Mining Star Field, Wu Hao's had noticed the warships sent by the local forces in the Mining Star Field such as the Sky Shark Chamber of Commerce and others hanging some distance behind him. But he didn't care. This is a public waterway, the only way to enter and leave the mining area. Moreover, the distance between the other party and the caravan was far enough that it did not seem to be malicious. On the contrary, it is more like traveling with a caravan. This kind of thing has not happened before. It's just that this time it's on a bigger scale. The only two assault ships and one reconnaissance ship owned by the Sky Shark Chamber of Commerce were all present. The Tianyu caravan almost came out in full force, also three small warships. The most surprising thing is that the Kingfisher Guild, which has always been mainly engaged in selling information, has also dispatched two assault ships, which is quite powerful. The accident occurred two days after the caravan left the Mining Star region. The caravan met a small fleet consisting of two fire warships and an assault ship directly in front of the route. Without any communication or negotiation, a sneak attack was launched. Caught off guard, without even having time to raise the energy shield, a fire warship in Wu Haozi's caravan was set on fire and its hull was damaged. Fortunately, the caravan's formation remained intact, and a scout ship located on the periphery blocked one of the fatal bombardments. Although the reconnaissance ship was severely damaged, the fire battleship behind it did not have any vital parts injured, only the armor on the bow was damaged. Enemy attack, enemy attack, raise the energy shield quickly. Spread the Mie particles quickly. Don't give the opponent the chance to launch another long-range strike. The fire warships move forward to meet the enemy, and the assault fleet covers the transport spacecraft and retreats. The reconnaissance ship expands its reconnaissance range and confirms the surrounding situation. Send a message to the fleet in the mining area behind and ask them to confirm their position. Wu Haozi's caravan is undoubtedly an experienced fleet. Although he did not expect to be suddenly attacked in this previously safe airspace, Wu Haozi, the commanders of the warships in the fleet, and even the crew did not panic too much. Instead, we quickly take a series of accurate and effective response measures. The dispersion of Mie particles will greatly affect the sky survey radar within the effective range, and the hit rate of long-range artillery will drop to a very impressive level. After raising the energy shield, the fire warship has an anti-strike capability that is far unmatched by the assault ship. It is obviously the safest way to let the two fire warships go forward and engage the enemy first. Subsequently, the six assault ships in the escort fleet, when the battle situation was unknown, first covered the retreat of the transport spacecraft to avoid being affected by the battle, and at the same time waited for opportunities to join the battle. The response was quite reasonable. The remaining three reconnaissance ships have to bear the important task of ascertaining the situation on the battlefield. Whether the opponent has other forces lurking, whether there is special airspace nearby, and whether a third party will join the battlefield, etc., all require detection and early warning by reconnaissance ships. Wu Haozi's fleet responded well. As for the attackers, the Jin family fleet also moved swiftly and swiftly. Sima Disao's LV.11 ship took the lead. Sima Delang's LV.12 ship followed closely, and Sima Zongda's assault ship dragged behind to cover. The Jin family's two fire warships raised their energy shields first, and then without hesitation, they plunged into the dispersion range of the Mie particles and quickly approached the two oncoming fire warships. The assault ship commanded by Sima Zongda drew an arc and tried to get behind the two fire warships of the caravan. It seemed to be trying to contain the caravan transport fleet and the assault ships at the rear. In a foreign country, what you do is to cause trouble for local snakes. Of course, you must firmly adhere to the three-character principle of quick, accurate and ruthless. The distance between the two sides decreased sharply, and after just over 10 minutes, they entered the stage of close combat. 0.1 light minute distance. The two fire warships of the caravan took the lead in activating the main guns. The high-speed kinetic energy bullets passed through the void of the universe and passed through the sides of Sima command ship at close range. Nearly missed. 
Ha ha, a watchdog is a watchdog, you can't even hit it, you're a waste. In the command cabin, Sima Disao stared with scarlet eyes and roared loudly. Stay steady, continue to close the distance, and start charging the main gun after 30 seconds. As you command, your majesty captain. The gunners on his ship responded in equal spirits. This is Sima Disao's style. He would rather bear the opponent's firepower first, but also close the distance in one breath to ensure the hit rate of his own firepower to the greatest extent. Sima Disao really lives up to his nickname of Mad Dog. Letting him take the lead is indeed the best choice. Sima Delang laughed happily. Your Excellency Captain, Your Excellency Sima Disao's fighting style mainly comes from the blue quality additional module carried on his ship, which can enhance the power of the main gun in a short period of time, so he has to adopt a method of shortening the distance. To ensure the hit rate. Our ship is different. Compared with the explosive firepower that can only last for a short period of time, it has stable and continuous damage, which is more suitable for facing opponents with energy shields. If our ship confronts His Excellency Sima Disao's ship, I can guarantee that the winner in the end will be our ship. Quote. The adjutant on the side replied respectfully. Sima Delang snorted coldly and said, Nonsense, don't I know? Even Sima Disao, a common man, knows what he knows, otherwise he would agree to take on the task of spearheading the attack so easily. The adjutant, who was over 40 years old, bowed his head in response, showing no resentment at being scolded by a junior who was only half his age. The class gap is like the difference between heaven and earth, not to mention the status gap between the captain and the adjutant. No matter how great the humiliation is, they can only swallow it. Assault Ship Sima Zongda silently stared at the combat command screen. With Sima Disao's assault, coupled with Sima Delang's continuous damaging firepower, no matter how successful it is, it will not be able to disintegrate the combat power of a certain fire warship in the caravan within one round of bombardment. After all, the most important thing for this fire warship, which is dedicated to escorting transport spacecraft, is its defensive performance. Therefore, before Sima Disao attacks, the energy shield of a certain fire warship in the caravan must be consumed to the maximum extent. Quote, while the two fire warships of the caravan focused their attention on the Jin family's two fire warships, which were advancing rapidly. Sima Zongda's assault ship, which was about to bypass the main battlefield, suddenly launched a high-speed missile. The target was the one among the two fire warships in the caravan that had been damaged in the previous sneak attack. Point-blank missile fire. Bullet-type comparison, it's a sidewinder. Energy field neutralizing bullet. No. Turn off the energy shield quickly. Try to maneuver out of it. It's too late. Even at close range, there's no way to escape. Secondary battery anti-aircraft barrage. Within the range of MIA particle dispersion, the automatic fire control device cannot be used normally. It is just a matter of luck to rely solely on the gunner's manual control. Shit, the price of one Sidewinder plus the launcher is enough to buy half an assault ship. There is actually a big businessman using an assault ship to carry Sidewinder. A bright blue light flashed. The Sidewinder energy field neutralizing bomb launched by Sima Zonga's ship, also known as the Shield Killer, accurately hit the target. After the light flashed, visible to the naked eye, the energy shield covering the body of the fire battleship began to flicker in bright and dark colors. Warning! Energy shield reduced to 12%. Hold on! As expected of a green quality energy shield, it can even take down a powerful weapon like the Sidewinder that specifically targets energy shields, ha ha ha. There was great joy on the caravan warship. On the ship, Sima Zonga had a sneer on his lips. When the Sidewinder energy field neutralizing projectile hit, the fate of this fire battleship was already doomed. While he was busy dealing with the missiles, Sima Disao's ship had already reached a close enough distance. 30 seconds have long passed. After just 10 seconds of charging, Sima Disao's ship's main gun sprayed out a ball of angry flames. Compared with the shells in the earlier sneak attack, the speed of the high-speed kinetic energy shells fired from Sima Disao's ship at this moment was obviously higher. This is the effect of Sima Disao activating an additional shipboard module on his ship. Thunder Booster Device Blue Energy Consumption 80 Time, after activation, the bullet speed of the subsequent three energy type main guns will be increased by 30%, buffer time, 30 minutes. 
For kinetic energy projectiles, a 30% increase in projectile speed is equivalent to a 30% direct increase in destructive power. The reason why Sima Disao wanted to get close and shoot was so that the main gun would not miss after activating this module. If the hit rate can be guaranteed, three consecutive rounds of strengthened main gun bombardment are enough to break the energy shields of most enemies with similar combat power levels and gain a combat advantage. On the other hand, if the hit rate cannot be guaranteed and the effect of the Thunder Booster device cannot be exerted, then it will depend on the performance of the opponent. In the process of Sima Disao approaching and firing, the two fire warships of the caravan were still in the buffer period due to the early firing of the main guns, so they could only watch the two Jin family warships advance. As the distance got closer, Sima Disao received positive feedback for his efforts. His ship's main gun, the first kinetic energy bullet enhanced by the Thunder Booster device, hit the middle of the caravan fire battleship whose energy shield was severely damaged. First, it hit the energy shield that was already the end of the powerful crossbow. After an extremely brief lag, the energy shield suddenly dissipated. The kinetic energy bullet with slightly reduced kinetic energy still maintained a considerable speed after crossing the obstacle of the energy shield and hit the middle of the battleship hard. The armor plate centered on the impact point instantly dented, deformed, and finally broke. At the same time, it also caused cracks in the surrounding adjacent armor plates. Fortunately, after the double buffering of energy shield and armor, the kinetic energy of the cannonball was exhausted, and no further damage was caused to the hull in the end. Before the crew on this battleship could breathe a sigh of relief, Sima Delang's ship came one after another, and a ball of green plasma ejected hit this troubled warship again. After this ball of green plasma hit the hull of the caravan fire warship, it quickly spread to the surroundings and began to react with the armor layer outside the hull. Half of the entire battleship's hull was covered with this turquoise plasma, and the armor covered by it was corroded and decomposed at a slow rate. Although slow, it is continuing and shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. Especially where the armor was originally damaged, green plasma seeped into the hull protected by the armor. The rate of corrosion and decomposition was much faster than in parts protected by armor. It's an abnormal attack that causes continuous damage. Open the isolation layer quickly. Ask for help from the rear. Our ship needs to temporarily withdraw from the battle, clean up the abnormal attack effects and wait for the energy shield to restart. Compared to the panic on the caravan side, Sima Zongda breathed a sigh of relief. Whether it was Sima Disao or Sima Delang, their first round of strikes successfully hit the target. The start of the battle was quite perfect. The green plasma comes from the main gun on Sima Delang's ship. Viper Plasma Cannon, Green, Attack Strength. 3. Attack Attribute, Plasma, Continuous Damage Strength, 3. Duration, 60 seconds. Although it is only of green quality, this special attack type main gun with abnormal attack effects is of much greater value than ordinary kinetic energy cannons. Even if compared with the blue quality add-on module on Sima Disao's ship, it is not far behind. Even if the blue quality is one level higher than the green quality. Add-on modules are another level higher than standard modules. But it can't hold up to this kind of main gun, which is very effective and rare. Although the explosive power is low, it lasts long enough. It is effective on both energy shields and armor, and the damage output is stable. The assault tactics devised by Your Excellency Commander are indeed effective. He is indeed a candidate highly appreciated by His Excellency Sima Disao. The adjutant on the side turned around and complimented Sima Zongda. Sima Zongda said a few modest words with a smile on his face. It was Sima Zongda's helpless move to be forced to serve under Sima Disao. Compared to other direct descendants, Sima Disao's own foundation was insufficient, so he had much more respect for the dedication of talents like Sima Zongda. But for the same reason, Sima Disao was not so assured of him. Most of the middle managers on the entire battleship were old men who followed Sima Disao. Especially the adjutant assigned to him was for surveillance rather than assistance. It can be seen from the title alone. Commander, not, Captain. It just shows that Sima Zongda only has command power on this battleship. In fact, Sima De's ship's high explosive power is suitable for this kind of assault tactics, but Sima Delang's ship is not. 
If Sima Zongda hadn't personally taken the risk and taken on the task of supplementing the damage, using the Sidewinder energy field neutralizing bomb to severely damage the energy shield of a fire battleship, it would have been impossible to achieve such results in a round of concentrated fire. Sima Zongda always had reservations about Sima Disao's agreement to join forces with Sima Delang. Although Yuan Shu narrowly escaped, the tomahawk disappeared. Even after Sima Zongda arrived, he couldn't find any clues. But the worst result is to be judged as a mission failure. On the contrary, choosing to join forces with Sima Delang to attack the caravan in front of them is tantamount to amplifying the situation. What was originally a simple conflict between Yuan Shu and a battleship, the Tomahawk, instantly expanded to provoke a big noble in the Bahinia Kingdom. The most important thing is that, taking such a big risk, there is not much guarantee of returns. He understood Sima Disao's fear of Sima Delang. But the more fearful you are, the more you should keep away from someone, instead of seeking skin from a tiger even though you know you are in a weak position. However, Sima Di Sao insisted on having his own way, and there was nothing he could do. We can only try our best to formulate feasible tactical plans so that when facing caravans with similar comprehensive strength, we can win the battle at the lowest cost possible. Compared with the two battleships of the Jin family, each has its own unique tactics. The two fire warships on the caravan side looked much mediocre. Although a series of blows that were enough to severely damage an ordinary LV.10 fire battleship would only overload its energy shield and cause moderate damage to the hull armor. And with this level of trauma, as long as it is temporarily withdrawn from the battlefield and spends some time repairing itself and restarting the energy shield, most of the combat effectiveness can be restored. Really durable but it was not easy to withdraw from the battle under the relentless attack of the Jin family's two fire warships. Although as soon as he witnessed the battle, Wu Hao's issued an order for the six assault ships escorting the transport fleet to immediately join the battlefield to contain the Jin family's two fire warships and create an opportunity for the damaged warships to withdraw from the battlefield for repairs. Reluctantly, Sima Zongda's Sidewinder energy field neutralizing bullet, Sima Disao's Thunder Booster Device, and Sima Delang's Viper Plasma Cannon all cooperated tacitly. In just one attack, in less than a minute, the front and rear legs successfully broke through the energy shield of a fire warship on the caravan side and caused moderate damage to its armor. The speed is too fast, making it hard to guard against. Under normal circumstances, Wu Hao's was quite confident in the ability of the two fire warships of the caravan to withstand strikes, so he made the tactic of observing the battlefield first and letting the assault fleet wait for opportunities. This is understandable. Unfortunately, with the combined efforts of the Jin family's three warships, this waiting for an opportunity turned into an obstacle. When the fire warship on the caravan side needed assistance the most, the assault fleet was still covering the retreat of the transport fleet. In a short period of time, help cannot be provided. A shell shot from Simada's ship penetrated its already shattered armor and hit the engine room at the stern of the ship. The damage to vital parts caused the entire warship to lose power. Under the continuous damage from Sima Delang's plasma cannon, the fire warship failed to survive. The battleship sank. The shipboard fire went out. 627. 15 minutes after the battle started, the caravan sank a reconnaissance ship and a fire warship. The remaining fleet consists of one LV.10 fire battleship, three reconnaissance ships, six assault ships, and eight large transport spaceships. None of the Jin family's fleet was damaged in the battle, with one remaining LV.11 fire warship, one LV.1 and two fire warship, and one assault ship. This turtle shell is really hard. Even without a shield, it can still withstand such a beating. It's not useless. Sima Di Sao sighed. The main reason is that His Excellency Sima Delang's explosive firepower is insufficient, otherwise the opponent will not be able to hold on for so long. The adjutant smiled beside him. Silver sharp spearhead, this is what I'm talking about. When we fight with real swords and real spears, without us in front, they are nothing. Sima Di Sao sneered. Even though his ship's overall combat power rating is lower than Sima Delang's level, battle is not just a game of comparing numbers. Even if you don't take into account software factors such as the ability level of the crew members and the commander's tactical training. Just the additional modules carried on the battleship, any one of them has the possibility to change the situation of the battle. The comprehensive combat strength rating is only a reference. 
Otherwise, the caravan's two fire warships, whose comprehensive combat power rating is equivalent to the Jin family's two fire warships, would not be sunk in a short period of time. If Wang Dong were present, he would inevitably sigh, the Jin family's children, but their hands are really hard. Wu Haozi's caravan has been doing business for many years. Even if he is backed by the Earl of Tianfeng, he is still considered a veteran and has fought against the Star Thief group more than once or twice. But in actual combat, it was inferior to the Jin family fleet. Of course, it was Sima Zongda's pre-planned tactics that were outstanding, but more importantly, the quality of the shipboard modules on the Jin family's fire warships was much better than the two mediocre fire warships in the caravan. Seeing the unknown fleet, they came up with a fierce momentum and concentrated fire to sink the main escort of a caravan. Wu Hao's immediately understood that his response was wrong. Those who came were not like the Star Thief group, which was basically a ragtag group composed of ordinary battleships. The opponent this time is the real kind, a fire warship with extraordinary potential in the hands of the privileged class. Unlike the two ships escorted in the caravan, they have only undergone streamlined training and are basically equipped with inferior quality ship-based modules. The ships are nearly 300 years old and are on the verge of being eliminated. Facing such an opponent, the caravan escort fleet actually did not have any advantage in terms of hard power. He should put all his strength into it at the first opportunity. The assault fleet came forward immediately. The other side was lucky enough to sneak attack and sink one of our warships, but it was not without damage. Let's focus on the high explosion warship first. Its energy shield is already less than 50%. The number 01 reconnaissance ship left the area where the MI particles were scattered and asked for help from the security force of the mining planet in the name of the Count of Kai Fang. The number 02 reconnaissance ship left the battlefield and negotiated with the Kongshark Chamber of Commerce and other force fleets following behind, asking them to assist the caravan in fending off the enemy. Reconnaissance ship number 03 continued to remain on alert. Wu Hao's decided to temporarily form a formation to protect the transport fleet. Because it can basically be concluded that the attackers only have the three warships in front of them, and there is no risk to the transport fleet until the escort fleet is defeated. He himself was on another fire warship in the caravan. Fortunately, it was not on the sunk battleship. The dispersion of Mie particles will prevent the function of detection equipment and seriously interfere with communication signals. Battlefield communication at close range is barely usable, but the effect of long-distance communication is worrying. Wu Hao's had to let the reconnaissance ship perform corresponding communication tasks. This is the Jin family fleet. After successfully concentrating fire and sinking a fire warship in the caravan, they were not completely unscathed. Intense firefights at close range have improved the hit rate of both sides. While clinging to their opponents, they are also enduring their opponent's resistance. The opponent's desperate counterattack caused the energy shield of Sima Di's ship to drop to 43%. At the same time, Sima Zongda's assault ship was also repeatedly fired by the opponent's warship's secondary guns. The hull armor was moderately damaged and two functional cabins were damaged. Small warships such as assault ships cannot carry energy shields, and their ability to withstand strikes is more than a little worse than that of fire warships. Only Sima Delang's ship remained in good condition. The opponent's assault fleet is coming up, three against seven, the pressure is probably not small. Brother 13, can you do it? If not, we will withdraw. Sima Delang said with a sinister smile. Xiao Lu, there are just a few assault ships, and you are afraid. If you are so timid, you should just stay in a woman's arms and suck your breasts. Why are you going out? They are just chickens and dogs. Keep going. Sima Di Sao looked gloomy. He was the one who took the mission, and he was the one who failed the mission. Sima Delang could just pat his butt and leave, but he couldn't. He knew that Sima Delang didn't really want to withdraw, but wanted to continue to let him stay in front. According to common sense, a warship with damaged energy shield can retreat appropriately to make adjustments and wait for the energy shield to recover. Sima Delang obviously had no intention of covering his retreat. Looking at Sima Zonga's assault ship, it has been damaged, and it is even less likely to assume the role of human shield cover. Looking at the yellow reading of 43% on the virtual screen in front of him, Sima Di Sao became concerned and issued several commands in succession. The next moment, Sima Di Sao's ship suddenly accelerated, 
leaving behind the caravan fire warship that was under siege by three Jin family warships, and bravely rushed towards the six assault fleets arriving in formation. Instead of waiting for the opponent's six assault ships to join the battlefield and then focusing their fire on me with the fire warships, why not take the initiative to find the assault fleet and leave the remaining fire warship to Sima Delang? Sima Desao's behavior surprised everyone. Sima Delang's face darkened. This mad dog's reaction is quite fast, turning passive into active. The adjutant next to him smiled and said, Although it is not the optimal result for us, Sima Desao is not a fool. Without the pressure exerted on him by various means by the captain, Sima Desao would not have embarked on this path. Quote, the adjutant's comfort made Sima Delang look slightly depressed. Sima Desao took the initiative to step forward despite being outnumbered and outnumbered. The caravan praised his bravery and at the same time said that he was incompetent. The remaining fire warship, in turn, entangled Sima Delang's ship and Sima Zongda's assault ship, hoping that the caravan's assault fleet could outnumber the others and sink the fire warship that left the team alone to snipe first. Sima Zongda had a bad feeling. Sima Delang's almost obvious display of malice made him no longer have any hope for the prospect of this attack. Sima Zongda understood that Sima Desao was not stupid. However, under Sima Delang's aggressiveness, Sima Desao still insisted on continuing the attack. This can only show that the importance of this mission exceeds the threshold for Sima Desao. Sima Delang also saw this clearly, so he controlled his power unscrupulously. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.